As far as the toss is concerned, and we'll take a look at the lineup for St. George's College. Jaden Thompson is in goal. Uh, Jaheem Henry, Javier Taylor, Matthew Spence, Brian Burkett, who has 11 goals and six assists to his name so far this season. Uh, one of five midfielders, Adrian Reed as well, uh, wearing the captain's armband, eight goals and five assists to his name. Ajani Peer, Tashawn Neal, Jindu Powell, O'Neill Mitchell, and Michael Pennant. St. George's looking to apply their usual slick passing game and a formation to suit. Lining up with three at the back, but expect a lot of fluidity among that or in that formation. As we take a look at uh, Jose Marti, Jamar Reed in goal, Orain Gale, Tishon Henry, Kiefer Powell, Rikelme Headley, uh, Shemar Hanchard, of course, is their striker with six goals so far this season. Andrew Anderson, Kwesi Reese, Davian Gale, Kimali Blackwood, and Malika Reed complete the starting lineup. And to counteract the slick passing of St. George's, Jose Marti probably. As we take a look at the full-time highlights there, and it was really easy for St. George's College in the first few minutes. In fact, four goals were scored in the first 20 minutes of this one. And they really went through Ozemati on several occasions like a knife through butter. And uh, again, some good work on the right-hand side. Tishon O'Neill with the finish. But yeah, Ajani Peart also had a good game along that right-hand side. And... Uh, O'Neill placing that well. And then in the eighth minute, another one. Burkett finding the corner. Keeper, I suppose, reacted late. But uh, to the left. Yep. Couldn't quite dig that one out. And Burkett, one of four. Jose Marti tried to get involved and they had a couple of attempts on target. And then Burkett became poacher in chief. Adrian Reed with the free kick. And uh, Burkett mopping up the spill there to get his second of the game. And then right after that, a beautiful lob inside the area. And what a cool finish that was from Matthew Spence. Really delightful to watch. And Spence getting his eighth goal this season. Burkett with the chip. Just directing where Spence should go. Spence went and he finished. And uh, Hanchard didn't see a lot today. But goodness me, he tried. And then that long range effort. Resulted in a handled ball inside the box. Hanchard stepped up and scored himself. His seventh goal of the season. In the second half, so many opportunities for Ozemati with this play. And then it was cleared off the line in the end by Pennant. And then Peart. Winning that one and then slotting home. Showing real strength there in beating the defender. And then look at the composure for the finish. Oh, yeah, he just slipped that one through, didn't he? And that's how he opened his account this season, Ajani Peart. And he was excited. So it was Neville Bertis Bell. O'Neill. Working well. And then Burkett following up after the initial shot by Spence was saved by Harnett. And the Burkett finishing off his hat trick there.
Gentlemen, there would be more. Look at this takedown from Burkett and then the finish. Strong hand on it, yes. Not strong enough from the Mazamati custodian, but what a first touch that was. And then the finish to the left of Arnett. And Burkett had four. And they were enjoying it, so was he, Brian Burkett. And then more opportunities. And the clearance by Pennant came off Nathan Gordon. And he would get his first this season. Turned out to be a consolation in the end. Another one for Jose Mati, St. George's College with 21 shots, nine of which were on target. Jose Mati with 13 shots, eight of which were on target. 12 fouls were committed in this one, St. George's College. A little bit peculiar to see them being the more physical team, although the yellow cards were shown in the Jose Mati camp. Uh, St. George's College, the possession went down slightly in that second half. They ended up with 57% of the possession it's time for the sports max matter the match and there was only going to be one right jenny take it away thank you donald congratulations brian burkett you are the sports max man of the match brian you have scored 16 goals so far what is the tally of the amount of goals you want to score this season well i just want to help the team in the best way possible uh, my personal aim is to score 30 or more goals so let's see what happens this season well, you're at 16, so you're more than halfway there. I see your dad behind the camera. Is he one of your main supporters this season? Yes, uh, my parents, close friends, family, they're all there, teammates, coaching staff, so they're all there to support me. Well, let's talk about today's match. You guys managed to score six goals. You were scoring four out of that, well, seven goals. You, you guys managed, you managed to score four out of that seven. Tell me how you're feeling. Well, I'm feeling good. Um, finished the game injury-free. Um, got the victory, thanks be to God. Um, so, this see what's up next. Okay, thank you and congratulations. And now we welcome the coach of Jose Marti, Mr. Patrick Lewis. Coach, not the result you would have wanted today, but your boys managed to score two goals in today's game. Are there any other positives you can take away from today? Well, basically, um, I have players that went in the game that um, give a, 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 a good impression of themselves. So I guess we look good going forward, though we lost the game. Well, in the second half, your boys were more competitive. Was it more of an improvement of your team, or do you think Georgie's ease off of the gas? What is your take? Well, basically, um, I, I guess the TV got to them, but in the second half, they have a more um, understanding of the TV and the crowd and the whole thing. So I guess that's why they play better. Well, you're third on the table. Is that an indication of the progress or the growth of the program you've implemented at Jose Marti? Most definitely. And coach, lastly, young Harnett showed a lot of quality. You brought him onto the park and many were wondering why he didn't start. Is that giving any complications as to you picking a starting lineup? No, not really. Arnett is a, is, a, um, is a victim of the lightning. So I'm, take, I'm taking my time to bring him back in the game. So that is why he didn't start. Well, thank you, coach. You're most welcome. And now we welcome the assistant coach of St. George's College, Mr. Marcel Gale. Coach, no disrespect to Jose Marti, but it was a pretty easy day out for your boys. Which is more pleasing, the scoreline or the fact that you have seen things that you've worked on in training? Um, I don't want to be greedy, but both. I mean, the God be the glory. I mean, sunshine and the immaculate field. You know, it's a good performance from the boys. Um, I think they follow instruction well today. I mean, no easy feat. I mean, um, Jose Martin, I thought, played well today. You know, there's a few scary moments for us. And, you know, fortunately, our goalkeeper come up jump for us today. Well, your boys made a dominant start with four goals in less than 20 minutes. Is that something you are working on to replicate against tougher opponents? <laughs> um, you know, that was a part of it. And uh, I, I mean, um, the, the, the occasion can be overwhelming at, at times. So we're talking about that. And if we seize the game early in, um, in the first half, and which we did that today, and I think that created a catalyst for us today. Well, when I spoke to Coach Neville earlier, he said he was confident in his boys, and they surely proved that confidence. Going forward, how will you help, well, you and your management team help in aiding to keep these boys focused and grounded? Um, 
you know, our, our first um, objective was to come out of a zone. I think we did that now by qualifying today. So we turn now to, to our next um, objective, you know, to, to go second round and we go from there. So for, for, for now, is it, it's get everybody um, sharp and ready for the next round. Okay, thank you, coach, and um, I just want to say um, to all of the, the females, I mean, we, the pink today signify uh, for breast cancer, so we are here support on um, the breast cancer, um, you know, females. And things, so. Okay, thank you, coach. Come, come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and are better than the best? And if I hear team beat your chest, it's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come and join the show.